Vojna intervencija Sjedinjih američkih država i NATO-a zasnovana je na tri laži, tvrdi libijska vlada. Prva, da smo avionima bombardovali ulice i naselje u Tripoliju. Druga, da je naša vojska ubila 10.000 civila u Tripoliju. I treća, da smo koristili crne plaćenike iz Afrike proti svog naroda. You must remember, dear people of America, that whenever government wants you to think and act in a certain way that would bring justification to an action that they are already planning to make, they must make the person that they hate a boogeyman. Naam has perfected the game of cheat and retreat and is very skilled in the art of denial and deception. This is a regime that has already used poison gas to murder thousands of its own citizens on Saddam Hussein's orders. This is a man who has attacked his neighbors twice, who uh, represses his own people. He used uh, chemical weapons both against the Kurds and against the Iranians during the 1980s. Who is continuing to develop weapons of mass destruction. He's launched ballistic missiles against four of his neighbors over the years. Who's tried to assassinate a former American president. This is a man of uh, great evil. <laughs> Saddam Hussein is a homicidal dictator who is addicted to weapons of mass destruction. Intelligence sources indicate that Saddam Hussein has ordered that scientists who cooperate with UN inspectors in disarming Iraq will be killed along with their families. The charter states that we, the, in the preamble, I mean, that we are, that, that we shall not resort to the military, military force unless it is a common interest. F 65 wars broke out after the establishment of the United Nations and after the establishment of the Security Council and after this uh, establishment. 65 and the victims are millions more than the victims of the Second World War are these wars uh, and the aggressions and, and the force that was used the power in the 65 was in the interest of the common interest of all of us no it was in the interest of one country or three countries or four countries or one country what the CIA does is go into a country and move among the people that are dissatisfied to stimulate a revolt against a leader that they don't like because they want regime change it will become anti-Western again if the West's hand is seen to be meddling. And there are already indications of that. Look at the British, British having sent an SAS team and uh, MI6 agents into Libya. David Cameron has been accused by uh, some people within the government of trying to orchestrate regime change across the Arab world. Is this something that you agree with? Of course. With, uh, with France? Of course. It's very obvious. It's very obvious. Has Gaddafi used the oil money to build Libya? Yes. Did Gaddafi use oil money and discover water under the Sahara Desert and brought that water to the surface and brought water from Benghazi all the way uh, to the border almost of Tunisia? Did he impose farming in the desert so that they could feed their own people? Yes. Are there billions of dollars that he's spending building homes, building apartments for his people? Yes. So something is under this. And so when America, England, France, 
three imperialist powers want to destabilize that country, is it that you so concerned? You are hearing rumors, false reports. Please take your camera tomorrow morning, even this night. Go, uh, go to uh, every city in Libya. Everything is calm. Everything is peaceful. The point is there is a big, big gap between reality and the media reports. So is the unbalanced nature of the coverage. Rather than being impartial observers, some networks stop short of directing the protesters. But here, the Al Jazeera crew is warming up the crowd in time for their next live report. Uh, we would never bombard our cities. We never bombard. Esto es absolutamente infundado. No es cierto. Nunca bombardearemos nuestras ciudades, ninguna ciudad libia, así como lo hemos probado a todo el mundo. Contactamos la oficina del señor Margelot y nos dijeron que nunca hizo tal declaración y que haya muy extraño que se haya reportado como una declaración del señor Margelot. El vocero del gobierno libio condenó nuevamente el doble discurso de los países occidentales que aseguran estar interviniendo con violencia en la nación africana en nombre de la paz. Footage we see on American and British channels looks fake. They create an illusion of military action. Where are the aircraft? Where are the bomb raids? Where is the destruction and casualties we hear so much about? If all that is true, evidence should now be on the table of the Security Council. On both sides, the army and police on one, the insurgents on the other, only 150 to 200 people were killed. But it's claimed there were thousands. An attack on Muammar Gaddafi is an attack on Libya itself. It is treason. There is no uprising in the east, only a criminal enterprise by a few hundred gangsters. They are mystified that the United Nations cannot see that. There's a constant refrain in this crowd. The people are happy, but Al Jazeera knows nothing. Well, the reports of Libya mobilizing its air force against its own people spread quickly around the world. But Russia's military chiefs says that they've been monitoring from space. And the pictures tell a different story. According to Al Jazeera and to BBC, on the 22nd of February, uh, Libyan government has inflicted airstrikes on Benghazi, the biggest city in the country, and on Tripoli. And according to Russia's military, they have not registered any of those airstrikes. According to them, the pictures show that nothing of that sort has been going on the ground. Now, the tough new sanctions and Gaddafi's increasing isolation are based on allegations that he has ordered airstrikes, bombing of civilian protesters. We have seen no evidence of that yet and the Gaddafis strongly deny it. Are there any conditions under which you would support foreign military intervention in Libya? Facts, that's all. Only facts on the table of the UN Security Council saying that weapons were used against peaceful civilians in Libya. You know we told them, the British and the, 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 the French, we, we did challenge them. We told them, send fact finding mission to Libya. The thing is, we don't have any facts. We have reports from the BBC, CNN and other media featuring some machine gunner firing his machine gun in the air. At the same time, we don't see any aircraft attacking. Instead, we see people applauding the gunner for looking so cool. If there were a real aircraft attack in progress, they wouldn't be applauding. The U.S. has reportedly asked Saudi Arabia if it can supply weapons to the rebels in Benghazi. The Saudis have been told that opponents of Qaddafi need anti-tank uh, rockets, mortars and ground-to-air missiles to shoot down Qaddafi's fighter bombers. We say we're concerned about things happening in Libya. Please note the following. The North African cell of Al-Qaeda is also concerned about what's happening in Libya. Do you think that's a coincidence? Army. Americans themselves have estimated that Libya, especially the eastern part of the country, which is where the rebels have reportedly gained control, is where is is home to a large number of jihadists. They make up a fifth of world jihadists. It's enough to say that one of the rebel leaders in northeast Benghazi was once Osama bin Laden's personal driver. The question here is whether the U.S. is going to end up putting weapons in the hands of radicals and destabilizing the region even more. Anti-Gaddafi rebels are growing more confident and are now focusing on capturing Tripoli. With God's will, we will win. We're going out today for this tyrant and Zionist. With God's will, it will be his last day. This man has been investing in African development. 
This man has been moving throughout Africa. This man has friends all over the world. He may not be your friend, but if you take him out and kill him like he's some rotten fella that wants to kill his own people, what did you do in Waco? What did you do when your people rose up? Did you talk them out of it? No, they had weapons, you bombed them. What did you do in Philadelphia with the MOVE movement? Did you talk them out of their home or did you bomb them? Yeah.